So if you've ever been involved in the self-help industry or picked up a self-help book or spoke to a self-help guru or somebody who was into the industry, they might tell you that most successful people are persistent, have patience, and eat cheese. Okay, well, what about the people who aren't successful? Are they persistent? Are they patient? Do they eat cheese? And you have to ask the person, well, did you even ask? Did you bother to research that to find out if they were? This is known as the congruence bias. And in research, it's an over-reliance on direct testing of a hypothesis while ignoring indirect testing. So in this example, the direct testing method would be something to confirm our hypothesis. And our hypothesis might be that successful people are persistent, patient, and they like to eat cheese. So what we would do is we would go up to successful people and we would ask them, are you patient? Okay, check that off. Are you persistent? Okay, check that off. Do you like cheese? Check that off. Hey, what do you know? Our hypothesis is confirmed. It doesn't work that way. What we also need to do is we need to go up to non-successful people, maybe some homeless person on the street and say, are you patient? Okay. Are you persistent? Maybe they're very persistent in getting their food and doing what they need to do every day. So you check that off and do eat cheese. Well, of course, whenever I get my hands on it. And what you'll find is that if one group, like the non-successful people, are all those things, as are the successful people, we cannot say that those qualities should be uniquely attributed to successful people. So once again, you need to make sure you're asking the right questions.